What's up guys, it's Jamel President from Day TV. During these times, it's important that athletes maintain a healthy body and a healthy mind. The City of Charleston and the Day Foundation will be providing weekly educational training videos. Tune in every Wednesday to the City of Charleston Recreational Department website to get more information. Stay healthy, stay strong, go Charleston. I went to Burke High School. Right, and um, and my 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 travel to business and entrepreneurship had a lot of different pivotal points into that, and you were one of them. You know, I remember a lot of times um, going to the games, right, and I was I would just watch the game, and I hear this this man this song coming along, and here's you doing your doing your thing. I would observe a couple of laughs. I see behind, everybody pointing and laughing. But you're getting five dollars per laugh. <laughs> Who cares? The business side of it, you weren't even concerned about what people think. You know you had to suck up that pride and give that business approach to make sure a successful businessman selling peanuts. Talk about you know when it first started, how it started, and some of the trials and tribulations that you had to go through to be successful. It's a funny thing. He had put people in the front of you and guide you into that direction. Right. All right? Now, whether you pick up your, your, your points or your signs or not, right. that's it's enough to you. Right? Right. And so, uh, but anyway, I went, I got on meeting street and I was getting ready to go to the homeless shelter. And something told me to go to the unemployment office. So I went down there to try to get my unemployment check, which was $175 if I got it. And I ran into this old man that he was selling peanuts. His name was Mr. Mary the Hill. He used to scale Rosemount Hill, mm -hmm. selling peanuts all over the place. Right? And he said, Mike, why don't you come and sell peanuts for me? I look at the man. I, I said, Mr. Mary, uh, I'm trying to get my unemployment check here. And he said, uh, so I left and I came back again, you know, to try to finish for our paperwork. Right? Right. He asked me that three times to make a show, a long story show. He asked me that three times. And the third time, I went up to him and I said, Mr. Mary, why should I sell peanuts for you and I can get $175 from the unemployment offer? The man told me something, bro. And I never forget the day. And the people out there have to say, I'm very careful. Right? The man said, Mike, you're right. You work all this time. You put uh, uh, and and you got a right to get that check. He said, but if you get in that line and don't give it a try, if you don't try this here, all right, you will be in the round the lines the rest of your life. So that's something you got to think about, all right. And believe it or not, from that day I went to sell peanuts a dollar bag. Imagine that a dollar bag, all right. Other words, he get uh, he get. Uh, 60 cents, I get 40 cents. I had to sell a lot of peanuts. The, the key is, I'm glad the fact that from that time period, I have never been in the line, I have never asked anybody for any, anything, uh, uh, nothing significant, anything significant. And God has led me on that path. Day TV finally arrived.